Welcome brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Ozana David. I just woke up from a dream. And it's not a very good dream. But because we are still alive, it is good. It is good that, excuse me, we get a warning why we live on earth than God keeps quiet. Why we live and then end up in hellfire. A little girl woke up to me in my dream. She had a little paper in her hand. She wrote her dream. So she came up to me and was telling me the dream she had. She wrote it down. She read it to me. It was uh, an encounter she had in a dream. She saw that some persons were sentenced to hellfire. So after, I, I can't remember everything uh, she read to me concerning her dream, but there is something I can never forget in my life. She asked me a question after the reading. She asked me, brother, when will the fire of hell quench? How long will it take before the fire of hell will quench? I kept quiet. I just bowed my head down and I started crying. She kept asking me the question. I never gave her any answer. And in my mind, why I was crying was, oh, I'm not even preaching enough. I'm not even wanting people enough. People don't even know that the fire of hell would never quench. I was just crying and thinking to myself that some people are even ignorant. They will only realize that there's a place called the fire of hell, hellfire, when they get there. After that, I found myself in another place. I saw a group in the church entering two buses. Uh, one was a coastal bus, one the other was about 18 seater bus. So I saw everybody wanted to enter the they were rushing into the coastal bus. So I was in my room, but I was seeing them and I was saying, everybody wants to enter this coastal bus. Nobody wants to enter this uh, small bus. And I said, this is how it is. A lot of people think that if they enter a big bus, the coastal bus where people are many, in case there is accident, um, they have greater chances of survival that they will say, okay, uh, before I will die, maybe other people, there are other people here too who will die. Uh, it won't just be me. How will it be me when so person, this one and this one, among this multitude, why would that be me? So I was saying, uh, many of these people will like to enter a big bus, coastal bus, because they feel they will be safer there that in case there is anything like accident, there are other people in the vehicle that will die and not themselves, that they can just be so unlucky to be the one to die. And I, I concluded the dream that it doesn't matter whether there are multitudes of people in the vehicle or it's just you alone or maybe few persons in the vehicle, whosoever that would die, will die. And I was thinking that, in fact, people are not even aware of death. People are not even aware that they will die one day. Even before the next, before the minute they die, before the minute, minute they meet accident or meet enemies up and die, they will never think about death. That was how I woke up from the dream. Hell fire is real. There are lots of people who preach that God is not a wicked God, that God is a kind God, that God will never destroy the world, that uh, those who preach that uh, God will destroy the world and that there is hell fire, they are deceiving themselves, that God is a loving God 
and that his love will never allow him to cast anybody into hell. This is a lie from the pit of hell. The question is, are you saved? Mark, Mark, Mark chapter 9 verse, if you read from verse 43 to 48, Jesus Christ gave a very strong warning there that it is better for you to enter into heaven with one hand than have two hands and go to hell, the fire of hell, where the fire is not quenched. If Jesus talks about hell and categorically states that the fire of hell will never quench, who is that man that is deceiving people that there is nothing like hell? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Are you saved? I want to do my best. I know God is also warning me. I know for about uh, this is about the third week I have not preached. I have not posted any video of my recent video on my YouTube channel. I know the Lord is waking me up to preach. The Lord wants me to do my best before I leave this world. I know there are lots of people who mock me. That each time I preach, I talk to people to repent. I don't talk about miracles. I don't talk about uh, breakthrough. I don't talk about prosperity. I don't talk about uh, uh, what people talk about. But I know that a lot of times when I sleep, God talks to me and tells me, warn these people, warn these people, warn these people. And when I come out to preach, I have no other word to say than, please run away from the wrath of God, repent and get saved. Are you saved? Are you going to hell? Many people are going to hell. A lot of people are on their way to hell. Are you among them? Are you going to hell? I pray that the Lord should strengthen me and also strengthen as many he has called to be watchmen in the world so that they can preach and cry and share their tears here so that when they go to heaven, they will be overtaken by the bliss of heaven and not cry in heaven because they didn't do their best while they were on earth. Are you a Christian? It's going to get worse. The worldliness is going to get worse. The Lord revealed to me the time of distress. And He told me it is time that people will turn their backs on Him. We are stepping into the time. We have just entered the time of distress. It's going to be a very terrible time. Please repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. Those things you call little sins will take you to hell. I told us some time ago when I preached, I said there was something the Lord was telling me. I said, now this thing is not small. It is big in my sight. Leave it. Stop doing it. And one day God told me, if you do not change, I will cast you into hell hell. I will not change myself. I will not change my law because of my love for you. If No matter how much God loves us, if the love of God does not change us, God will not change his person. He's not going to change his law. He doesn't show, show favoritism. His words are yea and amen. If his love does not change us, God will never change himself. He doesn't change. Please repent. There are lots of people who are in the world who are ready to help you to go to hell. Please don't go to hell. Hellfire is real. Heaven is real. I was crying because I knew that the fire of hell does not quench. I couldn't answer the little girl. All I could do was cry and weep because a lot of people don't know that even hellfire exists. A lot of people who even know it exists don't know the severity of the fire of hell. The little girl asked me, how long will it take before the fire of hell will quench? Jesus said, hellfire was prepared for the devil and his angels, but humans, humans, have resolved to go to hell. If Jesus returns today, will you make heaven? 
please let's repent and know that Jesus Christ will appear any moment from now. The rapture will soon take place. He is near. He is at the door. Please repent to give your life to Jesus Christ. In case you have not subscribed, sub subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ego Ayopuna, and also Uzana TV. You can visit my website and sign up, egoayopuna.com. Thank you. God bless you. Remain rapture ready. Bye-bye.